um, while actually trying to be, uh, he's doing a selfish act in what he's doing, but there is a morality there, you know, and he struggles with that. And um, there become, becomes like a vulnerability to him, I suppose. I have to find Sophie. There's a player in the battle space. He's armed and skilled. He's looking for a way into the carriages. doing hey i'm jim alexander with real talker tom hopper thanks for joining me on a sunday morning you know it's pretty early out there in toronto so yeah so i've escaped from those saying before i've escaped from the madness of the children downstairs so i've actually uh, is I that what it is in. okay well <laughs> They might be banging on the door any minute now. You know? Yeah, they will. Yeah. Well, there's nothing I can do about it either. If they want to be up here, that's it. Like, there you go. Yeah. That, that's the good approach there. <laughs> you know, one <laughs> thing I'll tell you right away what stood out to me about you in this movie. Two things, actually. I think you have a you have like a weapon, a gun, like every scene. <laughs> I, I don't remember you not having. <laughs> that was probably big, my idea. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a big intimidating, uh, you know, rifle or whatnot in every scene. And the second thing I loved about you in this movie is that, you know what, you blend it in and it's hard for you to blend in in anything because of your, your physique and height. And I actually appreciated that you, your, your height wasn't exploited in any way. I think it was a very natural way of using you uh, without showing your intimidating presence. <laughs> what's, what's your take? Yeah, I mean, I think what's quite interesting about Declan as a character is this, uh, I think he is quite key that, that you know, he, he doesn't come across as just like a typical, uh, the big brute soldier. You know, I think that, mm -hmm. that, that what's quite interesting about him is this morality that he has um, while actually trying to be, uh, he's doing a selfish act in what he's doing, but there is a morality there, you know, and he struggles with that. And um, the become becomes like a vulnerability to him, I suppose, you know, in the movie. So like being a big guy, you know, being the big kind of strong man kind of look, I suppose that it's like a juxtaposition of what he's going on underneath is actually like softer and uh, there's a struggle there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting because like, you know, you've obviously, I think your physique is kind of part of, you know, you're, you're in a sense, you're acting and what characters you delve into and are presented with. Um, is that something that you kind of, in a sense, I always wonder like if, you, if you're, you know, especially in this industry where, where you have a special look, they, people try to typecast you sometimes. Um, is that something you've ever felt or is something you want to remove to be able to, to kind of do other roles? You think that's in a sense, maybe ever hindered you as much as it helps you too? Yeah, I think, like you say, I think it does both, you know, I think early on in my career, um, like I was still playing quite a bit of rugby early on in mm -hmm. my career. So like I was just trying to be massive to <clears throat> to still play rugby, but also um, I was like a skinny kid growing up, you know, and one of the biggest things that I thought I needed to do, or I was noticing like people leaving drama school and stuff and they weren't um, working necessarily. And I was like, you've got to do something to stand out in this industry, man. Like no one, it, it doesn't just happen. Mm -hmm. So I, I I decided to try and like stand out by being like the big guy. And I knew it would potentially hinder me, but I also knew, like you say, you know, sometimes it's going to benefit me. It's going to be those roles that if I can bash out a good performance, I'm walking in that room looking like the part already. So it initially was about that. And it certainly has, uh, I think it, it was 50, 50. I know the times that it was a hindrance and times it was a benefit. And then it became for me, like it became about like health and fitness, you know, like it would, I, I'd done all these roles where I had to be in a certain shape and it got to a point that I was fluctuating in and out of like being like bulking and then eating crap and then having to like diet down. And I was so tired of doing that. And I started to mm. do my own research on how to maintain a, a certain type of physique, but do it healthily and year round and never have to like fluctuate like this. You know, a lot of people say you have to bulk, you have to cut, you have to do, you know, and I'm like, I can't do that. I have to find a way of sustaining it. So through doing lots of experimentation myself and like uh, really delving into the health and fitness side of things, that's why I do it now ultimately. But it has now been become a thing where I get these roles because of because of my physicality. But I think 
it's quite nice to know sometimes that you're not having to go into these roles thinking, oh, I've got to get in shape for that role. Mm -hmm. I can, I'm sort of always in the ballpark of where I want to be. I, if I need to cut down, if I need to bulk up, I'm always sort of sitting somewhere in the middle, um, which is quite a nice you know, feeling. You don't have to worry about that. It's a weight off my mind because sometimes there's a perception that you're always ready, right? You're always ready to go and some people aren't. And I got to a point where I thought I need to always be ready. Mm -hmm. Final question, uh, quick, anything you can share here in Toronto doing Umbrella Academy 3? I know everyone's waiting to, to find out anything, anything we can find out about Luther or, or what's in store for, for this upcoming season. Uh, no spoilers, unfortunately, but I can tell you that I'm having an incredible time shooting this season. I think season three is going to be the best yet, personally. I wow. think it's, it's so much fun. Um, it's just going to be a very fun season. Um, I'm, and I'm, I'm hoping that the audience that we've collected so far will will really appreciate it because I think you know we're fans of the show as we make it you know so um we're we're sort of making it going oh my god this is going to be great so um yeah there's a lot of enjoyment going on from from all the cast so I think everyone has a lot to look forward to <laughs> well thank you so much that, that's good enough you know can't wait to see it and uh enjoy that cup of coffee I'm guessing or tea <laughs> thanks know? man yeah it's a cracking cup of joe this one there you go thanks so much Tom thanks man